Hi, it's Brian Johns from the University of Iowa. Today we're going to use the PCNC770 and the Touch Probe, both from Tormach, to digitize a pre-existing part. From the points collected, we can then generate a 3D CAD model, which can be manipulated and refabricated. Mach 3 contains a built-in wizard to work in conjunction with the Tormach digitizing probe. First access this tool through the wizard's menu. The next screen allows the user to input the dimensions of the part. It is best to use the jog feature beforehand to measure the object. Note that the dimensions are from the current location of the touch probe. This wizard does not use any of the work offsets. Make sure the z-axis travel height is high enough where the probe does not collide into your part on a rapid move. Next, input the resolution of the steps in both the x and the y direction. Lastly, input the feed rate of the machine. Slower ensures more accuracy, but also greatly increases the digitization time. Then click Create and Load G-Code. Once it's loaded, you can hit Cycle Start and save the file on your computer for later access. Next, click Cycle Start and the machine should begin to move. Let the machine finish and then collect the file that you just saved to the computer. Once all the points are collected on the Tormach mill, the file can be transferred to your everyday computer. The next step is meshing all the points to become a 3D geometry. This way it can be read and manipulated by your 3D CAD software. This technique may be available through your usual CAD software, but the software package I will use is called Blender. It is a 3D modeling software that is free for all users. Here I am running on a Mac, but this technique will also work on a PC. In addition to Blender, two other software scripts will be needed to make this procedure work. The first is called a point cloud skinner add-on. A link is available in the description of this video. Follow the instructions on the link for proper installation of the add-on. The second is a code I wrote to convert a long list of coordinates output by Mach 3 to actual vertices in the software. The link is also located below. So to get started let's fire up Blender and you'll see this cube uh, on the screen first. All we have to do is hit X and delete the cube. Next, to make sure our point cloud skinning add-on was uh, installed properly, go to the scene tab and at the bottom of the scene tab you should see a tab called point cloud skinner. And if this is here that means you installed it correctly. Now we need to import the points that we collected from the mill. Let's switch our default view here to actually the scripting view. We're going to create a new script, so click the new button. I'm going to call this one import points dot py to indicate it is a Python script. And in the link provided, we need to go to that link and copy the code. So I'll copy all this code, go back to Blender, and paste this code. Now, the one thing that needs to be changed in this code is the path. This is where your file is located on your computer. So here, I will change this one to where my file is located, and it's actually located under Users slash brian dash johns slash test dot txt once this is changed all we need to do is hit run script down at the bottom so run script and all our points are loaded to select all these points we will right click so right click all these points and we want to change this from object mode to edit mode. So change it to edit mode. Here we can select how many points we want to turn into 3D geometry. Let's say I only want to do a section of this of these points. 
I can deselect all the points by hitting the A button and hit B for a bounding box. So if I hit B, I can draw a box and select the points that I want. Just like that. But here I actually want to select all the points. So I'll hit A again to deselect and then A once more to select all the points. Once all the points are selected, I'm going to switch out of edit mode and go back to object mode. Here we're going to go to the scene tab again and making sure that our point cloud skinner is available on the bottom here. We're going to switch the target object to the, the object that says my digitized data. And the one parameter that you need to change is the distance for skin down at the bottom. Change this one to the distance between your points. Basically you might have to adjust this value several times to make sure it, it uh, skins all your points. I'm going to put mine at point 3 and then hit the skin button. This could take several minutes depending on how you uh, select the points and how many there are and how fast your computer is. So here is the skin data points. So now this is a 3D surface and we can export this into our usual CAD software. So if we go to File, Export, I'll use an STL file, and then we can save the STL file here. I'm not going to do this right away. And also, you can save this Blender file so you don't have to keep importing this code every time that you want to skin points. And that's all there is to it.